Hello, guys and gals, me, Muda Har. And, uh, oh, I know what you must be saying, Muda. You playing video games? Are you for real right now? You actually playing video games? Yes, I am playing video games, ladies and gentlemen. And I am playing more of that Minecraft ray tracing. Believe it or not, I, I like Minecraft, okay? I don't think that, that fact has ever been, like, mistaken. But I love good graphics, and I love good new graphic technology. And I had come for Minecraft ray tracing last time we looked at it. And it's to a point where I want to look at it again. Because they just finally released some new word worlds, worlds, and I finally got some free time to sit back, relax, and dive right into it. Now, one of the first worlds they released is sort of a cyberpunkish affair, The Observer, which is something that's sort of dark and 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 and, and, and edgy, and and it's it's a, it's all it's almost like an adventure story map. So let's just jump right in and check it out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we're spawning in, you can see that this uh, world is darker than my uh, than my souls and hopes and dreams. But as soon as I hit that ray trace toggle button, which uh, I wish I knew last time because I look like a total fool flipping through the menus. Oh, boys, we've got ourselves some good old ray tracing. Now, of course, it, it's kind of interesting because I've got no lights in, in, in the map at all. But as soon as you actually go over here, they, some of the actual resource packs they use do, in fact, have lights. And ladies and gentlemen, can I just remind you, Minecraft does, in fact, look this fucking pretty. This actually reminds me of a game that came out not too long ago. If any of you played Control... This game is, uh, th this world looks very, very similar to it. It's like a little rainbow section over there, and is that, is that like, is that something I can, I can fall right into that? That wouldn't be good. <laughs> it's a whole area I can fall into. Get out of here. But they've got like this sort of underground, oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Look at it. There's, there's like no comparison. <laughs> like the actual comparison that they've given is so, is so bad for the non-ray tracing. But here we've got like, uh, what appears to be a manual. And a fucking shit ton of cake. And I'll, I guess I'll grab as much as I can. Because, I mean, shit, why not, right? And what is this? Welcome to Installation 12. I am the station's AI. And I'll be walking you through your introductory process. Oh, will you? And then there's like a... So there's like a whole story to this that you can follow through. And that's kind of nice. Usually I expect these maps to just be like graphical showcases. Which, I mean... I mean, they are. But, I mean, it's also nice when they, like, pump a whole story into it. So, I guess if you want to, you can. Oh, look at look at this. Look at this area, dude. It's like, a, it's, like a little, it's like a little installation AI room. And then, you know, you can go. One thing to note, though. I don't know if it's the ray tracing that does it. But, man, the amount of, like, how grand some of these areas feel is beyond me. Like, I would really want some proper view. Ooh, that is gorgeous, dude. Look at that, dude. Dude, I mean, look at that. That's like, that reminds me of the original Deus Ex. You know when you get to like the section, like the last section of the game, Area 51? Dude, this is literally on par with that. Look at that. We're entering like this, this AI section, dude. Hey, look, the atmosphere is just right there. And, and I can't wait to see this technology brought further into like new... Look at that, dude. The lighting is crazy. You ever think like Notch when he first developed this game thought, wow, can this game actually look this good? And it did! <laughs> Sorry, I'm fawning over. Just like look at look at how it works though. Look at like how the how the lighting is gone. It's more than like any shader you could see. But anyways, let's get to this area. And this like now we got this like upper sort of view. One thing terrible is like the view distance. Like you can see it gets like pretty foggy in the in the distance. Hold on, let me just like lock perfect. There we go. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, like, it kind of, like, oh, th is there, like, a whole reflection back there? Oh, that's sort of, that's, that's sick, that's sick, actually. You can, like, see what the world is, and you can see, like, more of the world loads in the distance when I turn the ray tracer off. And as soon as I fire it back up, the world just, like, fogs up in the distance, dude. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of cool, I guess. It's kind of cutesy. I feel like the music could be a little bit more, you know, sci-fi-y. This area doesn't look that impressive, but... Overall, the lighting is pretty solid in this section, I'd say. Ooh, it's getting me mirrors. At wow, yo, look at the look at the resolution on these blocks, dude. That's why it was taking a while. That's actually fucking insane. Spoiler alert, if you ever played Assassin's Creed 2 and you get to the ending, this this area sure feels pretty familiar. It's like a little it's like a little maze you can end up going through. I just am I hate how they haven't fixed the fact that the arm clips through walls, but like Aside from all that, I mean, look at the insane textures there. It doesn't even feel like I'm playing Minecraft anymore. Like, this this has to be a pretty heavy texture pack that they're pumping into the game. That's why it took so long for it to boot. 
All right, okay, I think that's enough of this map. Let's go try out some of the other ones because this isn't the only one that uh, was released lately. To fill the memory, wow, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at the water reflections, dude. Holy crap. And you can see it's ray tracing because like normally if you like aim away and you get rid of the, like you see those lamps in the distance, if you just happen to like kill them in your viewpoint, it would actually like kill the reflection in the water because that's how screen space reflections work. But with ray tracing, they consistently bounce, so you'll see them reflect even if you're not capturing it. It just adds that extra bit of realism, right? But here's like the medieval village, which if you like turn off the ray tracer, you can see like, eh, it's your average Minecraft map. And you end up getting like, God knows how many of your frames back. But then like, as soon as you flip it back on, yeah, it, it adds just like the fucking atmosphere to it. And, oh, dude, look, look at how, like, the, the torch, like, blends onto the actual, like, uh, onto, onto the fucking wheat and stuff. Like, that, that's gorgeous, dude. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go check what the inside of this area is. Surprisingly, there's no metal-like reflections. And the, uh, in the Sonic Ethers, uh, like, ray tracer, you actually get to see that. But that has to do with, like, a different texture pack, which I guess may not... Ooh, look at that. Look at that solid reflection, dog. Look at that. There's, like, nobody in the town, though. Like, it feels like I'm walking into a f fucking full-on ghost town, and I'm not a huge fan of that, personally. Like, it feels like I'm walking to, like, a horror set. This actually looks very similar to the time when we played that, like, auto-generating mod pack, where it was, like, it actually generated, like, full-on towns. This is actually very similar to that, so... Ki kind of surprised myself, you know? It's, it's very, very close to it. But, uh... Yeah, let's uh let's see. There's like nobody in the village. Like there's actually no villagers, dude. This is kinda it's kinda freaky. It's like dude, the audio's killed itself too. Bro, this is weird. Now see if I turn the tracer off, you see how like it just it, it I'm not gonna say it looks bad. Like obviously the design and everything's still there, but then like BAM, look at that. <laughs> oh man, dude. It 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 it, fe it feels good to be part of like the fucking thirteen idiots that ended up buying into RTX. Like, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, RTX is, is kind I wouldn't, I'm not gonna say that it's a scam, like, cause it's not, but let's be fucking honest here, the best game that we've had so far is maybe Control and fucking Minecraft, dude, and I'm not dogging on Minecraft, like, I like Minecraft and everything, but, like, it, 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 it's kind of an interesting affair. Now, here you can see, like, the sunrises are fucking gorgeous. I will say the texture packs they use sometimes are a bit of a hit or miss. Like, I mean, if you look at this section, it's not that impressive. Like, I mean, if you turn it off, I actually kind of like the original graphics just a bit better. Like, I feel when you go over here, it's just, it's a little too saturated, you know? Like, that looks fine, but for some reason, it's just like, it looks like, a, it's like I'm staring at one color, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it just feels like that's what I'm looking at. But, of course, the whole town is up there. Everything else around the town is pretty much just generic nonsense. So, I guess, I, guess, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll go up and just sort of check the town for what it is. See what else we can find. Maybe, if we're lucky, find a fucking living soul. But, I'm just gonna be real with y'all. I ain't really holding my breath on that. Seems like, it seems like what we got here is, like, almost a church, if you will. Like, you can see, like, they got stained glass up there. Oh, oh! Oh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a little underground forge area, dog. It's, it's kind of gorgeous. And I see if you turn it off, it's different. It's different! When you turn it on, bro, that, lo that lava affects everything, dude! Even the redstone has, like, an effect on stuff. Like, look at that. Like, everything changes. Because the colors are all, like, working together, even, like, the lanterns. I mean, you know what I'd love to see? Like, look, look, dude, look at that. Look at how the light just reflects, dude. I know that I'm, like, a kid right now when it, when it comes to lighting, and it might bore you guys, but trust me, when it comes to graphic technology, I'm a huge fucking nerd for it. And when I play this kind of stuff, it, like, warms my heart. Looking at this area, though, it kind of reminds me of, like, Chrono Trigger section. You know, when you were in, like, antiquity towards, like, like uh, three-fourths of the way in? And you go to, like, the, uh, Dark Ages, the Antiquity section. It feels like that, dude. It'd be crazy to see Chrono Trigger areas remade in this Ray Trace Minecraft. Here you can see, like, there's a wizard keep up there. So, I mean, we'll, we'll go check it out. Why not? Oh, there's, like, a little church. Actually, I want to see that. I want to see what the church is like. Bro, you, you, can, you can see. Look at that green stain. And then, bam. Different, dude. Different. So, yeah, it is, like, a full-on church. That's actually cool. See how the blue... As it goes in, it affects the light difference, and then, you know, you're losing all the depth here. 
Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at it. Dude, look at it. Oh, look at how it, like, paints the wood. <laughs> and it's just... I'm not gonna say it's bad, but, like... There's a difference, man. There is a difference to it, dude. There's, without a doubt, a fucking full-on difference. And it's actually very noticeable. And you got, like, this section, so if you, like, just witness it, you know. Ah. And then you got one over here. So it does take, like, a second for the ray tracer to sort of path path out the whole like lighting so that's why you see like it's not instantaneous it takes like a second right so it's like it's not real real time but it's pretty damn close to real time here's like the darkness and bro how big is this fucking tower this is like huge <laughs> this, is a, this is a big tower dude this is a nice juicy big tower you know i really love these chill minecraft like gameplays i, I think it's just the music and like i don't know the feel of minecraft just leads to like a chill video like there's no energy i mean there is energy but it's like it's just more chill energy i don't know this is just just a really it's just like a really beautiful like section like, i can't believe minecraft actually looks this fucking good dude like it, it feels good to like step away from like the serious side of the internet and just sort of like look at minecraft let's get rid of let's get rid of this let's get rid of all that shit Ooh, ooh, ooh that's how high up we are dog that ain't that ain't good dude <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of going to give me some like so you can see how like big the village is. It's not massive, you know. It is just a medieval village. But it's cute, you know. Can I like kind of like mirror's edge my way to it? Probably can't. Pro oh fuck. Oh, f oh my god, I didn't die? No fucking way. No fucking way. <laughs> oh shit. That's kind of that's kind of that's kind that's kind that's kind of that's kind of a lie game. Nor normally the man would be would be gone. So let's just check this area out. Little little shop section. I guess this is a blacksmithing area. Man, they all really do have like a vibe to it. And then when you turn it off, it's like bear Minecraft, and then beautiful. Anyways, let's go to the next map. Ooh, get out of here, dog! What are you doing? I just spawned in, and the game's already ready to kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> It's got like a full sample and everything. Get out of here. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Literally just spawns you with like hell. Fuck that. I'm getting out of here. This shit's violent, dude. So this is like the dark village map, which is like some horror theme map for the game. And it already does kind of have like this near silent hillish vibe with like the lighting turning all like dark. And I get I guess I have ooh. Yo, that's actually haunted as fuck. That's haunted as hell! That'd be haunted as hell! No, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't, don't mount the horse. Bro, that's straight a haunted, that's like, that's some haunted ass lighting, dude. Even the, even the design of the enemies are like different. Okay, I'm getting my ass handed to me. This isn't good. And the music does not fit any sense. I'm get, dude, I'm getting absolute, who designs this like shit fest? Okay, maybe there's like weapons in here for me to grab. And there are, there are weapons. Unknown map. Okay. Well, it would be it would be fucking great if I could read the goddamn map. <laughs> the map doesn't work. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me let me just fight these things, okay? This is like not good. No, no, dude, no. I hate the dude. The skeletons are without a doubt the worst enemy ever created. Hold on, let me just check. Okay. Well, I'll tell you guys this much: the 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 maps in this game are kind of dog shit. Uh, ahead lies a village, Breath of Life. Once, uh, nah. I found an abandoned mine at 2986. Okay, so there's like an actual village somewhere. And I think here is where the village is. Okay. Got a little... Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, it's kind of a... It's got a little skeleton. Man holding the... Okay. All right. Well, maybe, maybe there's, like, a village, like... Oh, there's a village. Okay, so it's, like, deep in. Ooh, village looks gorgeous, dude. Here's, like, the village without ray tracing, missing all that depth, and then, bam! Decrepit. It actually is kind of decrepit, dude. That is... Ooh. That does look gorgeous, though. Like, look, look at that, look at that. Old village? Decrepit. <laughs> it actually, actually it does have, like, a whole vibe to it. Although the music kind of will oh my god get out of here zambo skeletons nope the like the music the music just doesn't fit into it like i feel like if they're gonna make horror maps they should like modify the music a little bit so it's just you know it's gonna add that like you hear that it's it's way too fucking peppy <laughs> i think we can go down here 
He said there's an abandoned mine right here. I mean, I'd be down, dude. I'd be down for that. Let's go all the way down, I guess. And we're headed all the way down the mine. Not the ideal situation for me to be in, but I guess I'll do it anyways, because why not? Um, there's no fucking way I'm parkouring that, is there? I mean, Squidward's about to fucking get wiped. And I'm dead. I am fucking dead. <laughs> well, boys, the, uh, the, vi the, the adventure into the, into the spooky village was very short-lived. <laughs> It, 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 it looks, it, it's got, it's got this sort of darkish atmosphere to it, almost like industrial and... Oh, God, you see, you see, this is, these are the moments I'm talking about. This is what it used to look like, and I don't know if it's just me, but the new lighting, man, it just makes the area look grander for some... Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, get out of here! Game's fucked up! <laughs> I, I admire the graphics for one fucking second and there's a fucking creeper behind me to blow shit up. Oh, that, 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 now, now you see, it's the little things that matter the most. I'm like, I'm like such a nut bar for this, dude. I'm, like I said, like, when it comes to graphics, you, like, you, like, cool new technology, you could, like, dangle keys in front of me and I just, like, fucking nut in front of you, dude. Like, I'm not even gonna deny it. Like, I, I'd, I'd, I'd legit nut on camera if you just gave me more and more gra- If you just gave me new graphic technologies, I'd, I'd be nutting every single day of my life on camera with Minecraft. And I'm so glad Minecraft is a thing. Oh, dude, the yellow panes, like, they just sort of, like, dull out the lighting in here and give it, like, sort of that almost, like, calm sort of, you know, tinge to it. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. So the hillside area, hillside map is, wow, this building is fucking intricate, dude. Holy crap. There's a lot, there's a lot more than I expected to it, that's for damn sure. You know, truth be told, you have to give some credit to the people who designed these maps because the architecture is incredibly insane. Now, here's, I think, where the actual, like, the, the map sort of, like, ends. Like, the, the interiors are kind of looking a bit too samey for me. Ooh. Oh, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, there we go. We can actually see the world for what it is. And I guess when we fire this up again, you can see... So this is an interesting deal, right? When you turn it off, you can see, like, how that's darker. But then as soon as you open this, the lighting actually slowly starts to affect the world around it. So you can see how it comes in from here, bounces off. And that off... Like, you may not notice it, but it brightened up just a little bit to make it, you know... To, to give the impression that the lighting is natural. And of course, you know, this is just, this is just gorgeous. The sun coming in here and hitting the, hitting the wood paneling, like, pretty top tier, in my opinion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was enough Minecraft for today, ladies and gents. You know, it's, it's always fun to go back to the ray tracing technology. I, I hope you enjoyed the chill video today. I hope that, you know, it's, it's worth watching, so to speak. That being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to back out of this and, uh, and, 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 and take the good day. You know, I think, I think best map I played so far probably has to be the sci-fi one. Very grandiose, very pretty. The textures actually still blew me away. But with all that said, though, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am.